Hi, I'm Chad with Move Forward Guitar. This lesson is from our series, Music Theory for Guitar. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about seventh chords diatonic to the major scale. First off, if you like the diagrams for everything in this series, including the diagrams for this lesson, you can download our free e-guide, Music Theory for Guitar. And this e-guide will be something that you can study and use as a reference for years to come. And like I said, it's free, so there's no reason not to just go download it. But I am working on it as I'm filming this lesson, so if it's available, a link will pop up on the screen that will allow you to download it. If no link appears, you can look in the description and it will say whether it's available or coming soon. And if it's not available yet, you can sign up for our mailing list and we'll send you a copy as soon as it is available. Also, if you're signed up for our mailing list, you'll receive all updated versions as well. But don't worry, you don't need the e-guide to follow along with this lesson because all of the charts will be on the screen. And also be sure to subscribe because we add at least one new lesson every day. This is part 3.8 from our series Music Theory for a Guitar. If you'd like to go back and start at the beginning, you can click the link on the screen. So just like we did with the triads, I'm going to show you how seventh chords are built out of the major scale. And it'll be all the seventh chords that we've been talking about in the series, except the diminished seventh chord, because like I mentioned, the diminished seventh chord is not diatonic to the major scale. It comes from other scales, which we'll talk about in later lessons. So like we did with the triads, I'm going to start with a major scale on one string. And again, we're starting in F major, but that's not important. I'm just starting in F to give me as much as room as possible to move up the fretboard. This would work for every major scale. The intervals are going to be the same. And just like we did before, we're going to start on the first note of the scale, build a seventh chord from there, then build a seventh chord starting on the second note of the scale. When we start on the second note, that second note then becomes our root and all the other intervals adjust to correspond with that second chord and so on. And if you don't really remember how that worked, I'm going to explain as we go through this lesson. So first we're just going to start by looking at the major triad. And you know that if you build a triad off the first note of a major scale, you get a major triad. And you know that you get that just by skipping a note each time, which is just stacking thirds. So to stack thirds in the major scale, you just skip a note each time. So from here, we're going to add the seventh. So we're going to skip one more note. So now we're going to go from root to three to five to seven. And to do that, it's going to give us a major seventh, which you probably remember that gives us a major seventh chord. So a major seventh chord is a root, major third, perfect fifth, major seventh. And we got that by starting on the first note of the major scale, stacking thirds to the seventh. That gives us a major seventh chord. And all we did was skipped one note each time to do that. So building a seventh chord off the first note of the major scale gives you a major seven chord. So now we're going to rearrange the intervals of this scale to make the second note our root and all the other notes, all the other intervals correspond to this new root, just like we did when we were doing it with the triads. And if you need a refresher on that, you can go back and watch that lesson, which was lesson 2.10. So now we're going to rearrange the intervals, make the second note of the major scale our new root. So these are our new intervals. So now we have root 2, flat 3, 4, 5, 6, flat 7, just like we did in that previous lesson. And now we're going to build a seventh chord starting on our new root. And again, these are all the same notes. It's just we've changed the intervals. So we've started with the second note being our root note and changed the intervals to correspond. But these are all still notes straight out of the F major scale. So we're going to build a seventh chord starting on our new root, which is the second note of the major scale. And first we'll build a triad, which you remember, should remember, gives you a minor triad because building a triad off the second note of the major scale gives you a minor triad. And then if we're going to add a seventh to that, we're just going to skip another third that gives us a minor seventh. So again, we've just skipped thirds to get to that minor seventh. And that gives us a root, minor third, perfect fifth, minor seventh. And you should remember that's a minor seventh chord. So building a seventh chord off the second note of the major scale gives us minor seven. So now we're going to rearrange the intervals again. And the third note of the major scale becomes our new root. 
and all the other intervals correspond just like we did before. So now we have root flat 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, flat 7. If we build the triad off that like we did in the previous lesson, we have a minor triad. And then if we stack another third to get to the seventh, we end up with a flat 7 or a minor 7th. And our new chord is root, minor 3rd, perfect 5th, minor 7th. And again, you should recognize that's a minor 7th chord. So building a 7th chord off the third note of the major scale gives you a minor 7th chord. Rearrange the intervals again so that the 4th note is our new root. We end up with root 2, 3, sharp 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm just going to move it to the next string. So I'm going to move it to the 5th string. And again, we're just moving to unison notes. So it's the exact same thing. I'm just doing it so we have more room to move up the fretboard. And building a triad off the fourth note of a major scale, as you should remember, gave you a major triad. If we stack another third onto that to get to our seventh, we end up with the major seventh that we're adding. And that gives us root, major third, perfect fifth, major seventh, which you should remember gives you a major seventh chord. So building a seventh chord off the fourth note of the major scale gives you another major seventh chord. Going to rearrange the intervals again to start on the fifth note of the major scale. So now the fifth note of the major scale is our new root. That gives us root two, three, four, five, six, flat seven this time. And you should remember that building a triad off the fifth note of the major scale gives us a major triad. If we stack another third to get to our seventh, we're adding the minor seventh to that. So now we have root, major third, perfect fifth, minor seventh. And hopefully you remember that that creates a dominant seventh chord. So building a seventh chord off the fifth note of the major scale gives us a dominant seventh chord. Rearrange the intervals again to start on the sixth note of the major scale. Now we have root, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. Should remember that building a triad off of the sixth note of the major scale gives us a minor triad. If we stack another third to get to our seventh, we're adding the minor seventh to that. So we end up with root, minor third, perfect fifth, minor seventh, which obviously is another minor seventh chord. So building a seventh chord off the sixth note of the major scale gives us another minor seventh chord. Now we're going to rearrange the intervals again, and I'm just moving them to the new string. So you can see I'm just moving to unison notes to give us more room. So now that's starting on the seventh note of the major scale. So that's our new root. So that gives us root flat two, flat three, four, flat five, flat six, flat seven. And you should remember that building a triad off the seventh note of a major scale gives us a diminished triad. And if we're going to stack another third to get to our seventh, that adds a minor seventh to it. So that gives us a root minor third, diminished fifth, minor seventh. And hopefully you remember from the previous lessons that that gives us a minor seventh flat five. So building a seventh chord off the seventh note of the major scale gives us a minor seven flat five chord. So that means building a seventh chord off the first note of a major scale gives us a major seventh. Building it off the second note of a major scale gives us a minor seventh. Building it off the third note of the major scale gives us another minor seventh. Building it off the fourth note of the major scale gives us a major seventh. Building it off the fifth note of the major scale gives us a dominant seventh. Building it off the sixth note of the major scale gives us minor seventh. And then building it off the seventh note of the major scale gives us minor seven flat five. So the harmonized major scale with sevenths is major seven, minor seven, minor seven, major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, minor seven flat five. So those are seventh chords that are diatonic to the major scale or seventh chords that can be built out of the major scale. Go ahead and move on to the next lesson where I'm going to show you how to harmonize the major scale with seven chords. I'm going to show you with drop two and drop three chords on the fretboard. That's a really valuable information to understand so you can use this in a practical way. And be sure to download the e-guide. All of these charts are in there. And be sure to subscribe because we add at least one new lesson every day.